Welcome back to He's Wrong, She's Right with C and E as our extra special guest. Just He's Wrong, She's Right, not even the podcast. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. No, it's everything. I didn't know that I mean? had it's to everything. say podcast because it's a podcast, it, it's it is a video, podcast. It's- yeah. So we are about to get schooled by a 12 and 14 year old. Schooled again. Again. Not again. 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 We weren't even the first time. Exactly. Again. That is how you sound when you talk. (laughs) Remember, uh, what what were we watching recently? Where they were, the kids were like basically mocking themselves. And I looked right at you guys because. It's exactly how you guys sound when you're bickering. But I don't know. I don't remember. All right, Miss C, what's the first one on the list? <laughs> Eight. The number? The letter? The word. A T E. I ate an apple. Eight. You haven't even explained what you're doing. Yeah. She just said. Go ahead. She said you're getting... Yeah, you need to explain what, what no, exactly... No, she never said say what we're doing. We're doing a spelling bee. Oh, my God. No. We're, we're doing, A-T-E. No. Yeah. I win. Yeah. I win. <laughs> uh, no, we are not doing a spelling bee. We are doing a slang again, except for from... Pop culture slang. Gen Z. Gen Z slang versus us old people slang. Millennials. <sighs> Actually, okay. it's Gen Z slang and how to use them. Okay. Okay. So eight A T E. Oh, by the way, you guys are gonna do this around the house, right? You're, you're not just gonna randomly say all those words around the house. No, we are. I'm gonna make you feel uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, do you want like? I a- ate. Do you want? Do you want an example? Sure. Okay. Here. I'll. Example, it gives us an example, and I'm so happy. Okay, example, she ate that performance. Crushed it? Yeah. So, Good thing I didn't finish my sentence when I was about to say I ate Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Well, I don't think that's, that's Gen Z, though. very inappropriate <laughs> for this moment right now. We just started this. I don't I don't think that's... How's that already? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I didn't realize that's what it <laughs> See someone skips through and they stop at right that. There's gonna be there's gonna be my facial expression on there like <laughs> by the way, get subscribed. No. We already had that conversation. Get subscribed. No, I would leave a like, I really leave a I thought it was like you didn't like somebody no. or you were upset with them. You guys say eight up? Nothing to do with eating, but describes when someone delivers on something <laughs> in a good way and can be used in a, vari- a variety of contexts, like referring to someone's performance or fashion style. Do you guys say eight up? Is that a... Um, like if somebody's all fucked up and you're like, you're really eight up, dude. <laughs> you guys don't say that? <laughs> Never heard that. A, it might only be a military thing, but I was just wondering. Wait, if you're what? Like, for example, if somebody in the military is wearing a uniform and it's all fucked up, like their patches are wrong and shit's not no, aligned eight, correctly. And eight means you did it right. I know, but I'm saying eight up. No, that just means no, that still uses eight in it. Yeah. You, you have to be behind the microphone. You cannot be past it. Well, he hasn't talked at all. Hey, yes. All right, E, what's the next one that your guys are going to school us on? Basic. Okay, I do kind of know this one, like, you're a basic bitch. No? Am I saying that wrong? I thought... Do you want an example? Yeah. Example, I'm pretty basic. I like the original. That's... Me! That's me! Isn't that the same thing? Yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm the problem with you. <laughs> what? Hi, I'm the 
problem, it's me, she said. Oh. Okay, now don't poke me in the face. We've got, we've got bickering in the background. The next one is bet. Which means... Isn't... I got it. I'm going to... I heard you. I'm going to crush... The Michigan's entire season, bet. they were selling shirts that said it. Because somebody said... Yeah, somebody was like, they're not going to do anything. They're going to suck. And they said, okay, bet. And then they went and won the national championship. Like, watch me is what it means. Is that what it means? That's what it means. Uh, here's an example. Friend asks if you're still keen to meet up on Saturday. You reply, bet. It's, there's multiple use cases, but it's the same concept. Okay, yeah. it says, bet means yes, it, it's on, or okay, or absolutely. So just like I said. Okay. Don't, it can, don't it do. can be used as an affirmation statement. I don't. I don't get like when you agree with something or when I don't get it. I just don't get it. I would rather you say I agree it's or even, let's go. Oh, again, it's not even from their it's not even from their generation either. Like that was when we were in high school. People were saying bet. That. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. All right. This, e, okay. e is supposed yeah, to do the next. Oh. You mom, you use this one like kind of. Kind of use this one. Okay. Bougie. Oh, okay. That's been around too for yeah. a long time. Yeah. But mom kind of uses this. One. Not really. Kind of. It's ex- expensive, luxury. Oh no, you're using all the words it's saying. <laughs> 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 oh no. How does he know? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you can't spell him on that one. The sarcasm. Yeah. My turn. They should they should give you a date. As to when, like, it became commonly used. By the way, you guys have to help us get Be- uh, Becky. Becky? Becky? What? Truck? Bucky. It's like Becky. B-A-K-K-A-Y. But he pronounced like it Bucky. Right. He pronounced it Bucky, so it's Bucky. That's another one. Do you call it a cart or a buggy? It's a shopping cart. Grocery cart. See, you go against your people in some My cases. people? Okay. Yeah. Next one. Your southerners. Big yikes. Like, oops? Come on, like, you're supposed to use ones that we don't actually know. Mom said go down the list. Skip the ones that we already know. <laughs> How are we okay, supposed to okay, know? Okay, okay, Because okay, you'll know which ones are common. Okay. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 that one. Mm-hmm. Do you guys know dupe? It's like to fool somebody. Uh, or is it a knockoff? No, it's quite the opposite. A copy, which isn't a knockoff? It's like, it's, like, it's. Give it to us in a sentence, Missy. No, the horror on her face. You have to be prepared. You have, you have to be prepared. You have to keep rolling. There can't be dead air. Come on. Okay, so, yeah, I had a key breathing. Yes, a knockoff or more affordable version so i got it right yes and i only guessed that because of like knockoff purses which is also what i said fooling somebody you're okay. duping them one, okay don't know that one gas Fuel that you put in your car made from liquid dinosaurs. The farts that come out his butthole. No, neither. If something is gas, it is cool. Go awesome. Oh my god! 
No, I don't I'm like that at all. I don't like that at all. Gassing someone, that means you're supporting them or hyping them up. Okay, but that sounds like gaslighting. So, so when you when you say you're when you say you're gassy tonight, you're telling me I look good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that at all. Yep. I don't like that. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I don't it. like that. You know that one. You know that one. You know that one. Green flag, red flag. Oh, That's... walk away from red flags. Go towards green flags. Yeah. Except it's usually the other way around. Yeah, I was just going to say. I always go yeah. towards your red flags. Whatever. I'm the greenest what of flags. What are the red flags of Andrew? Oh, my God. The list is so long. <laughs> the list is so long. I happen to be wearing a red flag. Is that a red flag? <laughs> the list is so long. No. That one. I'm not gonna you didn't do your homework again. Right? You're supposed to be prepared. First of all, she said go do, down the do, list. Do, so, do, 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 do. That one. You know that one. You know that one. I know that one too. You know that one. Yep. You know I do. That yep. One. Yeah. You know that one. Yes, I do. Are you going to say that one? Oh. Mr. Yes. E. You mean Mr. E? Sure. Right, okay, come on. Let him cook. Is that like you don't like somebody no. and you're gonna like roast them? We did. We've already done this one. Let them cook. Yeah. I it's don't like get it. Somebody's like doing well, performing well. Like, let them keep going. Let like they're killing it, crushing it. I'm supporting them. Doesn't sound like I'll, that at all to I'll me. Really, I'll, I'll okay. Like to let someone cook is not literally to let them cook, but to provide space for that person to focus on what they're good at and do their thing. It first, it first originated from a rap song by Lil B or whatever, and somehow or whatever <laughs> morphed into <laughs> you a know a human or whatever used in different contexts. Example: All right, everyone. Just needs to step back and let him cook. Let's go to Clarissa. That one. That one. That one. That one. You know that one. You know that one. Why aren't you prepared? Cause mom gave me this list. So. So it's just a random website. But you're. That but I you're. I haven't scrolled through. You're supposed to know slang. To you're supposed to know slang. I said, no, no, we don't. We don't I have said, to. we know that one. No, but you, you do know, know slang. One. You use them, but they're your, they are in your common All right. discourse. Mr. E, give us the slang term that you use on the regular. Oh. Mm. This is probably one of I don't use slang on the regular. Yes, you do. He uses no, slang on the regular. No, everyone, everyone, just know this. He uses slang. All the time. And it's always like skibbity toilet or something like that. <laughs> no. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Those are the little ones. Here we have. Here we go. Bickering. All it's right. He, it's, Miss, heating up, it's heating up in the, in the studio C, audience. What's your go-to slang term? I don't really use slang. Uh, sure, sure. Sure. Yeah, I say the exact same thing. And yeah, you say. But I'd say random probably nonsense. like. Probably like. You guys should bring back '80s slang. Mm-mm. I say like rad. Ew. What? Do you even know what that means? Radical. Mm. Yeah, it's short for radical. No, just radical. It's rad. Just radical. It's rad. Just radical. Tubular. <laughs> what now? Yeah. You gotta say totally tubular. I, I, <laughs> I use IRL. It, that just means oh, in real life. I use uh, do, 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 You also do, like to do. make up words. That's not even slang. That's just your own made up word. Like extra. Yada yada yada. And what's the other one that? Delulu. Delulu. It's short for delusional. Yep. And then Mr. E over there. 
likes to say just random words. They're real words. <laughs> They're not made up, but they're I just random up. words. All right, now that we've put the audience to sleep, I'm going to take over the episode and okay. get us back on course. Okay. Even though the audience has already bailed. This is too late in the episode to be doing this. What movie are you looking forward to e. this year? E. Yeah. Mm. Deadpool this week? No. Why? I Why do I? not want to see that. Why? I hate the Wolverine. Why? He's annoying. It's... This is basically going to be a Loki movie with Deadpool and Wolverine and a variant of both of them. You really don't want to see it? Nah. Why? We already have tickets. You do? Already? Yeah. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> you just said you didn't want to see it. <laughs> no, or else you're going to have to go see it next week. Yeah, we're going to see it this week. Yeah. Yeah. So, what about you? Are you looking for any movies this year? What are you doing? Come on, pay I'm attention. Word. You're on the show. That we already gave up on that. You guys failed at that. Come on, back to being engaging. That's what I thought. You're annoying. What movie do you want to watch this year? Is there a movie or a show? We have it. I haven't seen it. So watch it. You can watch it right now. Not you right can now, literally but... watch it yeah. upstairs in your room. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's already out of theaters. I don't know. We have it. That's all I know. I think the little ones already watched it. Pretty sure they said they did. What about TV shows or video games coming out? I can't watch video games. No, like, She's yeah. looking forward to Summer I Turn Pretty Season 3 coming out 2020. You're not um, looking forward to GTA 6? Yeah. I, I want to play GTA That's, 5 You're again. supposed to answer the question without me prompting you. I want to play GTA 5 again. But are you excited for GTA 6? No. Why not? GTA 5 is always Did you ever watch the trailer for it? Oh, my God. <laughs> No, They've got, and I've never played it before. They have the trailer for GTA 6. is So every time a new generation comes out, you know, it's always, oh, it's so realistic. It's so, I remember saying that, people saying that about like GoldenEye 007 back in the day. And they're like, they basically look like Minecraft characters to today's standard. That's what we called realistic when I was your age or like Minecraft looking character. But GTA 6 pretty realistic and the trailer has all kinds of nonsense going on women twerking in the middle of the street yep <laughs> i know like the, the game the, this game of all grand theft auto games right like i want to only play the gta 5 that is it of all grand theft auto games that have ever come out this one i can firmly say is probably gonna be a little bit too much for most People under eighteen. Funny enough, they used to have they used to have mods for The Sims that made it R rated. Yeah, but I don't know about the new games. That somebody probably still does it for the new games. But yeah, there used to be mods. There used to be. Are you guys familiar with? Probably not. They used to make these things uh, called Game Shark. It's like you would plug your. You would have the game shark and it would have all these cheats built into it. And then you would put your game cartridge into that and then into your console. So you basically modded the game for you. And Nicole gave you a sim cheat on how to get money, right? Yeah, you can also get it off people. Oh. But cheats cheats used to be like part of games, like the experience. But then when everything started going online. People are like, oh, I'm not having fun because I don't know how to cheat like everybody else does. Seriously, it used to be a part, like a part of every game was cheating. There were certain things, there were people that, that were... That doesn't make any sense to me. There were people that, there were people that were purists that want to play the entire game as it was intended. But then... Who does that? But... <laughs> see. That but, would be me if I was playing a video game. You're supposed to play it by the rules. But then they go, be a rule follower. But, but the developers built in the cheats. They didn't like 
It wasn't somebody external to them. Mm -hmm. So both experiences are intended. So you play through it as a purist, and then you go back and you play the modded version. I don't like it. It, it extend, I do not approve. It extends the life of the game, but that doesn't do it anymore because now people are playing online and the extended life of the game is interacting with different people and, and all these, um, what do they call it? What, what do you, loot boxes? What? Yeah. Blue boxes? Loot boxes. I don't, that's what? the the money, the gift cards that they got. That was like so they could like modify their players and stuff. That's how they extend game lifetimes now. Microtransactions. So you buy the game. You pay money to change out what your character is wearing. Yeah. Right? Yep. What did you do with your birthday gift card? You, are you not going to tell? <laughs> See? I to what? A, What'd you change it to? I haven't done cheese. anything with mine. What? Cheese. He has a cheese. Is it walking cheese head? Cheese hat, cheese cape, cheese minions. Oh my god! <laughs> Does it look like um floating the, cheese? The people from uh Green Bay, like the Packers, like the cheese wedge. Oh, I was thinking like a minion. What no. is it? It's like a normal person. It's like a top hat, and then but cheese top cheese. hat. Cheese top hat. Uh, it's cheese it's cheese. actually shaped like a top hat. <laughs> oh it's like God. Swiss cheese. Yeah, and then um, interesting cheese triangle. How much did that cost you? Not much. Well, it cost you zero dollars because it was a birthday gift card. I'm saying out of the out of the fifty dollars, <laughs> what percentage of that did it cost? Well, that gave me four thousand five hundred robux. Okay. About like one thousand robux was only spent. So you still have more money. You spent a thousand dollars to look like cheese. And you're gonna <laughs> <laughs> dollars. If it game, was a thousand dollars, dollars, you could be doing anything else with that thousand dollars. <gasps> oh that my goodness. So what oh what goodness. else can you do? Well, since Roblox you could, there's a bunch of games in there. You can get VIPs in your favorite games, you can buy upgrades. What's a VIP? Yeah. I think just like get better upgrades, get it get like better like tools and weapons and cars like what are you basically almost like a bonus like you know when you get paid if you get a bonus when you get paid uh basically for a vip i want a bonus (laughs) (laughs) you make it you make it sound like it happens at every paycheck you know when you get paid you also get a bonus if you get a bonus what's that i've never had that before if you get a bonus (laughs) So what are you going to spend the other 3000 whatever? Can you buy like other games? Because this isn't, yes. it's like an ecosystem, right? So you have <sighs> like a ton of free games and then you have like some games that you can buy. Only Which ones are better? They, and most of them are like 50 Robux or only like 25 Robux. Which one, which is better, the free or the paid ones? I mean, the free ones are good, but the paid ones... You get just, The paid ones, you get bored of quick, and then you regret buying them. <gasps> okay. So, that's why we do don't. you because learn your lesson? In the end, and that's what happened to me. But that was only for <laughs> one game. I don't care. I wasted 25 Robux. I almost had 100. Which So, what are you going to do? You're just going to sit on it? Yeah. That's what he does with all of his money, both but, real and virtual. But guess what? Guess what? <laughs> no, that's a good thing. Yeah. I encourage that. No. Just let it grow. Accumulate interest. I'm in- well, I, actually, you can't. Yeah, I was going to say. I no, know, well, yes, I'm can. talking about the, the real. Donate game. Well, that, that's I, 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 donate. I will do that. Well, that. That's please donate. That's how I got like 108 Robux from that. Game. By donating your money? No, by people donating it's called their money to me. So that's, <laughs> so that's the other thing, too. All of this is a foreign concept to me. So, so that's, that's the other, that's the other way that they, that they trap you. <laughs> they make you... It's, a, it's essentially like a, a foreign currency that you have to exchange, mm-hmm. except you can't go back the other way. Right. So you go on vacation somewhere and you exchange for local currency. Right. But, and then you come back and you're like, well, now I just have pesos that i can't use mm-hmm. you're gonna that's have to go back there to use them again 
Mm-hmm. Right. And so they, they trap you in With there. Robux money. Yep. Because you can't, there's no, uh, there's no ability to just pay for something one off. You have to buy like a, a chunk of money and then it's just there. Here comes the B again. It's like the intermission B. <laughs> By the way, Joey has stubby legs. Chonky. These people He's don't so even know this. Stubby legs. So, GTA 6. No. You're not playing it. No. no. GTA 5. That's it. I bet. So because I can still play it. There are games, and I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Rockstar will do this because they want to sell as many copies as they can, right? Obviously, like, there's a lot of adults. They've already captured a lot of the adult audience. Okay. But the only way that you can ever grow as a company is to capture the young audience. Oh, no. That's why. New consumers. That's why Google is, you know, budget Chromebooks are in schools. It was the max when we were in school. Mm-hmm. That's how they grow. They want to capture you in their ecosystem. So I bet you there was a Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare 2, I think. Like the opening scene, you could either enable or disable. You could either play it or not. And it was like your choice. It would say, this is like extremely graphic. Do you want to do it? And you were embedded as somebody from Russia. You were you were an American spy embedded within Russia. And they know it. And they're trying to frame you, frame an American for killing a bunch of people in Russia. And you have to do it. Otherwise, they kill you if you play the mission. It's like... You know, you know when you see movies and they're like, if you're not really a cop, and but you are a cop and you're like selling drugs and they want you to try it, that kind of thing. Like, they're going in there and trying to massacre an entire airport, but you have the choice. Do you want to play this level or no? I wonder if there's going to be like a PG-13 mode for the game. Because if there's not, there are going to be prude parents that won't even let their kid buy it or buy it for their kid. They're probably just like, I remember growing up, like every parent was like, no, you can't have Grand Theft Auto. And at that point in time, it was literally just walking around top down view and stealing cars. There was nothing else like in the game. And don't you get points for like running people over though? Yeah. No, you or get something? stars and then you get chased. Yeah, you get chased by the police yeah. and eventually the military. So I, I'm just saying like it was more than just stealing cars. But it wasn't. Oh my god! I tried literally. I tried following NC the laws 17. while playing, and I was like, "This is too hard. <laughs> I have to break laws." Oh my god! <laughs> naughty, naughty, See, naughty, they're, they're, naughty, that, that's naughty. That's like there's like purist mode for that too. Hmm. And Grand Theft Auto again is another one of those games where they've uh, Grand Theft Auto Five's been out for like ten years, I, I think, or maybe even more. Hmm. And it's a good game. They just Not keep perfect. they just keep adding stuff to the game. It's a good game. And the best way to advance and like get the new thing is to pay real dollars instead of playing through whatever the objective is to earn it naturally. Or as it sounds like you're looking forward to grand theft auto number six. Yeah. I like playing the stories and then online. I don't like, are you going to be one of the people who gets it on the day it launches? I don't know. Probably not. So it's around. What do you guys think? I when does even, it come out? I didn't even get the NCAA game. When does it come out? November, I think. I'm pretty sure. No. Football season takes precedent. And I didn't even get the new college football game. And it has Michigan on the cover. The, the last one, 2014. And you would play it where? You could play it on PC. That sounds terrible. Or you would want to play it on the TV. We don't have a console. I mean, we have the Nintendo. Right. I'm just saying, like, I can't imagine playing a football game on a computer. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Like, just, no, you can just use a controller. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know any of this stuff. It's all going over my head. There are people. It's all stupid are, and a waste of money. I use the controller. Yeah, there are people that. Or like really good with mouse and keyboard, and I'm no, not one of those not people. Me. Not me. I have to use it on the 
I hear this guy clicking and clocking all the time. What's your go-to game? He. Roblox. Yeah, Minecraft was super short-lived for him. You're like, it's the only time he's ever asked for anything and he played it for a day. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. For a week no. straight. Yeah. Yeah. He played it for a week straight, Andrew. But you sound, the way you made it seem was like, it was like the greatest thing ever and that you were never going to stop playing it and then you stopped playing it within weeks. Yeah. What about you, Missy? What's your go-to game? Sims. Yeah, either the Sims 4 or, like, if it's even working. What? Or, like, not Roblox, not Minecraft, YouTube. That's not a game. (laughs) It's the game of life? Yep. (laughs) What am I going to watch today? Oh, my God. Who am I going to creep on today is actually the what you're doing. I wonder, so you know how YouTube, or not YouTube, Google has the uh, I'm feeling lucky button? Yeah. Have you guys ever actually used that? No. No. It just gives you a random search result. What? It's, you, yeah, there's a button that's just I'm feeling lucky. We what? know it exists, but yeah. it's not It's not on the Google anymore. The Google? It's, Did you just say the Google? Are you 500 on, years old? The Google? It's on desktop. I don't, it might not be on mobile, but it's definitely still there on desktop. Where is it? Miss C, you want to tell the audience one of the funniest things that happened with Sims? Like it was like the first like two weeks that you started playing it. Mm-hmm. And you're like, mom. I forgot I bought a baby oh, and yeah. I <laughs> got it taken away by CPS. I forgot to I pause forgot. it. There's CPS For, in the video game? Wow. That I bought a baby. <laughs> It's like the whole conversation. It was just like stabbing me in the heart over and over. You first of all, you bought a baby. What? I forgot. You forgot about it. What? Hold on. You Hold didn't on. beat it. What? Hold on. Hold on. So I paused. Never so I her to have a stop. child in the so, future. So I forgot to pause the game. And then like two days later, mom, I want to be a babysitter. <laughs> you forgot about your sips, baby. What? No, so you I take care of real people. What? So I forgot to pause the game. Is that okay? Okay, so I forgot to pause the game and I came down for dinner. <laughs> okay. Dinner got in the way. And the days. Dinner got in the <laughs> way of the baby. But hold on, but hold on, but hold on. So the days in Sims go by like, in like 30 minutes. That's one day. Okay. And then so. <laughs> Multiple things happened in one day, and I left it on the um, uh, times two speed. <laughs> so the day is really going through like really fast. So basically, your child starved to death. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> who who reported you? What do you mean? I mean, they're not going to know that your child is dead unless no, somebody pauses reports them. the game and says death has come <laughs> for your baby. <laughs> okay. Did and you ever? <laughs> Did you have, ever have one of those pocket pet things? Oh, Tamagotchi. Yeah. Yes, I had one. How many did you kill? Probably several. Um, I It was a hand-me-down Tamagotchi, so it was already... Um, Burning to death. B- basically. You guys even know what I, that is? I, yes. <laughs> yes. You do? Yeah. I never got anything is new as a, a child, so it was um, a hand-me-down from yes, somebody in the neighborhood. Yes, and no, they're mainly just keychains that don't work. That's <laughs> what they were to begin with. Yeah. No, like you, you press a button, nothing happens. Yeah. By the time it got it, to me, that was basically how it was. I have to walk down that aisle at like Walmart or Target sometimes because they always bring back like nos- nostalgic things like mm-hmm. that, like Furby. <laughs> I never had one. Did you? Uh, maybe. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of like weird collectible stuff, and it wasn't even because I wanted it. It was because like my grandparents wanted it, or mm. and I just was their reason to buy it. I guess the only thing that I had that I did want were like basketball, football, baseball cards. Yeah. I used to have this 
whole big like organ. I used to have these really expensive like Jordan cards and stuff that were all certified. No idea what ever happened to any of that stuff. <laughs> They're probably in your mom's attic still. Who knows? No probably. idea. Probably. Probably, yeah. The Jordan ones, they're like in these like glass. Or she cases sold them. And, yeah. They had like a like a a gold plated little like certification card and stuff inside this like glass thing. Why do you keep them? Because I Cause why? joined the army. Idiot. No. Sure. <laughs> Could you okay, yeah, let's go down the the road not taken. If you had not joined the army, what do you think your life would be like right now? Um, not here. I don't know. Probably, yeah, I don't think you would be here. I'd either. probably be an architect. Probably in Chicago or something. Uh, I don't know. I've always hated cities, so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? If they paid me enough. Yeah, but I, I mean, you can't be an architect in a you can be an architect anyway. town of like 150. Of course you no, can. Nobody's going to hire you. Yeah, so. not for any good amount of money. Right. But you don't only have to specifically work within the town that you live in. For the most part. No. Yeah. Even my dad, no, my dad's company, he did business over four states. And he would use the architects that he knew in Elkhart and Goshen and South Bend to build buildings in Kentucky and Ohio and Illinois and Michigan. And they would travel there or? They don't have to travel anywhere. No, somebody else, you have people that do the surveys and stuff like that. They send elevations and everything to the architect. The architect designs and engineers the building, gives you the blueprints and you give it back to your foreman and all your contractors and they build the building. The architect almost is never on site. Okay. You said, yeah, like, you know, you, you're supposed to be the guy that just makes the blueprints, right? Yeah. As you said, yeah. Why would he want to go there? If you, he could just hire someone. They, if, if it's a really like special project or a big project, mm -hmm. for example, let's say a firm and I'll stay to that area specifically. Let's say somebody was going to do something for Notre Dame, right? They mm -hmm. were going to like renovate the stadium. Notre Dame is going to want your people there because they want to, talk to them and pick their brain and ensure that they know, but that's a whole different monster from building a metal building warehouse. Right. So I guess that's what I was thinking of, of detail. But both of them can cost the same amount of money. My dad's buildings okay. were tens of millions of dollars. Wasn't talking about your dad, but okay. No, I'm just, I'm talking about architecture in general. Like it's right. I was, now the vision that I room. had in my head <laughs> now was... You, now it's bickering over there. Where would you be? If what? If you hadn't had kids. Oh, they no. both looked at you. I looked at you. <laughs> I'm just asking the question. I just said, where would you be? If I hadn't had any children yep. at all. Yep. Where would you be right Or gotten now? married. Yeah. Because it went... In that order, got married, then had children. Okay. Um, I would. <laughs> Go ahead. I'd probably be in either Charleston or Savannah, interior design. Okay. And decorating. Yeah, you cannot touch my room. Nothing. <laughs> Would you be like doing like custom home staging or actually like like for new developments, for example, or would you want to be at like some rich person's mansion where they're telling you they need a new chandelier and the table better match? Yes, that one. You want to be around those kind of people who are going to tell you that the color bronze that you brought over isn't the same shade of bronze that they saw in the but catalog. But that's not what I'm doing because I went down a different different path. No, but I'm, I'm asking like you. But yes, that those, is. Those pretentious type. She already said yes. <clears throat> okay. I'm just, okay. I grew up in a historic home. Historic homes are beautiful. The 
architecture is beautiful and what I could bring to the table would be personalizing that home to be a home rather than a house. Well, what if it was a brand new mansion? Modern isn't my heart. So there's no dollar amount? No. Because there's not necessarily always a market for That's why I said I would be either in Charleston or Savannah. My dad lived in Savannah for a long time. Mm. What about you guys? What are you going to do if your first wish doesn't pan out? If you don't, if you don't, (laughs) or let's, let's say you finish school, right? You finished your degree path and you just don't like it anymore. What do you think you're going to fall back on? Flipping burgers. (laughs) No, a randomizer. You're just gonna, randomizer for any job. You're just gonna, you're just gonna go to a computer and click, assign me something. Yeah, just assign me a job with this. Uh, what I already know and know how to do. Get me an interview. But what if there's not something place. else, outside of that very specific niche that you can use those skills for? Learn new skills. There you go. Okay. Adapt and grow. Good answer. I appreciate all of the words coming out of your mouth right now. What about you? If you don't become a surgeon. (laughs) What now? Yeah. Could you imagine her cutting somebody open? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) And enjoying it. I'm a murderer. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. No, see, that's what I was saying the last time that they were (gasps) on. I think that she would do very well in the medical field. That being said, she often gets in her own way overthinking things. So, The best people in the medical field are people who are emotionally disconnected. Mm -hmm. What's that? When you don't actually care. Being a robot like Andrew. Yeah. Because it means you can provide the same level of care no matter who you're dealing with. doesn't matter if you're dealing with an infant or a 90-year-old. Yeah. But but it is you in a lot of ways. But you have your moments of getting in your own way. Do you care about babies? If you saw a random baby, would you want to hold it? No. <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't even want to be near it. See? Going back to your question of what I'd be doing if I didn't get married and have babies, do you guys want to tell him what you guys said? The like It was like a couple weeks ago about... Me being a housewife. Uh, You guys were like a mom. You know Charlotte is going to be a housewife when she grows up, right? And I was like, I don't think so. I was a housewife. Do you guys not remember that I was a stay-at-home mom? I was a housewife. But Charlotte said, I just want kids. That's it. And then they were like, no, mom, you were a fake housewife. (laughs) Charlotte is going to be a real housewife. No, No, as in you didn't have like a big fancy man and all that. (laughs) So, but Charlotte. I was just going to I was a fake housewife. (laughs) I don't think so. Charlotte's going to have husbands. Oh, okay. So I don't think her husband is gonna have money. Well, well, well what they're what, what they are implying wants. is that she will only be marrying if he has money. Whereas I did not, and so therefore mm. I was a fake housewife. Where Charlotte will be a real housewife because mm. she will make sure. That's what they said. I was like, oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> What? what? She's going to be a, a dog lady. It's like cat lady, but less miserable. <laughs> You're talking about C? Yeah. Much less miserable. You're going to, how many dogs are you going to have? Uh, probably two. Just two? 
I have two hands. Okay, good answer. Good answer. I thought you were going to say four. You want me to waste AC by opening the door two times? You know they make dog doors, right? Yeah. See, I could see they, you getting... They deserve walks. They you buy in a, a big in, yard. A, in addition to Willow, I think you're going to get two smaller dogs next. Oh. Because you keep talking about a pug and a Frenchie. So I think you're going to get... See? You're smiling. Because she just petted, she just pet two... What were, what were they? She, oh, my gosh. She's been talking about pugs and Frenchies for, like, I'm, way before I even met I'm, you. No, no. Just on Friday at the the meat store. They were Frenchies. Oh. Or were they... Could, but anyways, she's been, she's been talking about pugs and Frenchies since, like, forever. I don't want a Frenchie, but I do want a pug. You're so silly. Because that's not what you said like a year ago. You like flip flop them all the time. Frenchie or pug, pug, Frenchie. Well, I so I think you're going to get both. You know, I, I pick pug because Frenchies kind of scare me with their eyes. How so? The bug eyes? Uh, pugs have bugger eyes than Frenchies. Yeah. We, uh, we talked about you when we were there at the store about the dog panting. Go mentally insane. Yeah. There was a second dog in the house. Yeah. I don't like that sound. But this time it'd just be two. And you would go yeah. mentally insane. Pugs, but, eyeballs, uh-huh. bug more than Frenchies. They even look like they are diseased <laughs> and like somebody's been squeezing pug. <laughs> See? Squeezed it to death, and his eyeballs are about to come out of his head. And then my dog joins the room. Oh my god! <laughs> I whisper. No, so I think you're gonna get two smaller dogs next, and then you're gonna get a massive, like a Bernese Mountain dog. Thank you. See, I know you so I well. I love those dogs. So, and then, so all in all, you're gonna have four, but two are gonna be larger. You're gonna have one really an XL. You're gonna have Look Willow how large. Precious it is. Yeah, and Aussie. Aussie will come after the Frenchie and the pug she's, die, which they're gonna be the first to die because they have so many problems. She's gonna build like um, harnesses or. or um, she's gonna have a whole house no, with no. each of them having their own no, bedrooms. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. See. Listen. See, I know you so well. No, I want, like, and you have to be house. you have to be a doctor so you can afford all these dogs. <laughs> no, she's gonna build dog saddles so that the little dogs can ride on the back of the small, <laughs> the big dogs. Oh, I can see that. Three dogs and we have three dogs too. Why would she need to be a doctor just to afford that? I kind of want a great dame. Though. No, I said I said four dogs. I want a great by the dame, by the time you guys graduate school, yeah, the everything. cheapest house you're gonna buy is a million dollars. Yeah. I mean, dog food alone is like a fourth of our grocery bill. Yeah. I kind of want a Great Dane. See? Protein protein powder. It's insane. It used to be like $35 for a five pound. And now it's um, like what, 75? No, it was like 90 yesterday. Damn. Yeah. I looked at it and I was like. expensive staying fit. That's why I just uh, fit this food into my mouth instead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, King Corso is what mm-hmm. I want. Well, anyways, we got boring there. So boring. So are we talking about more stuff or is just going to show you dogs? Beautiful. Beautiful. So precious. Anything else? Uh, hold on. Echo. <clears throat> Do you have anything you want to contribute to society? Dogs. There. Mr. E, e over there. He's talking to you. Do you have anything that you want to contribute to society? I think you just want to live in your bubble for the rest of your life. You know me so well. I do know you so well. What about you? Do you have anything else you want to say or add? Did I already tell them to check the links in the description? No. Get subscribed. Stop. It's, <laughs> it, no, it sounds it's, like it's, when you say it like that, it sounds like get fucked. Well, I'm, I'm emphasizing the get word. Right. That's, but normally I would that's say, what he says. Say, he says get, get fucked. Get subscribed. Like, go away, asshole. Yeah, that's why I say to the door-to-door salesman all the time. Right. 
And that's what it sounds like you're about to say instead of get subscribed. Get fucked. Maybe I'll, everybody does like the little pop-up animation button where it says get subscribed or subscribe. No, just subscribe. <laughs> it'll just, it'll just be a button that pops up and it just says fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> subscribe now, everybody. Yep. Yeah, subscribe. Well, people that are online. Comment, on our, subscribe. On our Reddit. Notification bell. I think I covered it. If if they're on our subreddit and aren't haven't joined the subreddit, there's two. So you have members, and then you have small PP, and the people that are not logged in. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there dying. Oh my god, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. That was one of the first things I was like, oh, you can people that aren't joined. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it gives you a count of both people. That are How joined. many people have small PPs? No, it's it's as they're viewing your content. Do you, have you ever been on an old school forum where you used to tell you no, how many people are logged in? No, I have in? no idea what you're talking about. No, yeah, the websites and stuff used to tell you how many people are logged in or visiting at a time. Okay, that's Reddit just still does that. Okay, so you can see how many people have joined the subreddit, which is eleven. Oh. And then you can see how many people wah, are. Wah, wah. We have never talked about it. Most people don't even know it exists. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Go join it. Who are you talking to? These people. The cameras. The cameras? Just, oh, okay. I was making sure that you were it talking to the cameras, not the yeah, yeah. the little humans no, over don't there. Ever get okay. Over yeah. You guys are not allowed to. That's what I was verifying <laughs> that you were not looking past no. the camera. No, you okay. guys don't get social media anyways. Yeah, true. All right. That's it. For your safety and protection. No social media. Yeah. Bye-bye. Goodbye.